I'd better check by the Daily Bugle. I might find a clue there as to what he was after. This sure beats waiting for the bus. Continuing from where we left off, I'm going to be doing the shirt pat the sleeve pattern, sorry, so that you can put the shirt pattern together now. Uh, the next video I'll probably do is most likely on how to sew. Easy way to make the sleeve pattern is to use an old shirt sleeve, long sleeve preferably, that fits you well enough, or doesn't have to, you can tighten it later, but basically just cut that open and basically use that for your sleeve pattern. However, there is one little thing you're going to have to customize yourself if you're using your own pattern or if you're using a sleeve from a t-shirt, and that is this little circle area right here. And what this is, is basically it's supposed to be congruent to the sleeve hole from the shirt. That little loop right there, that's what's supposed to be going on the top of your sleeve pattern. And that's how it can fit in. Once you have about one half of that curve down, you're going to want to cut out, like I said, one half of the pattern. And cut out, uh, cut out the rest of the other half like that so you get one symmetrical piece. Now we're going to be making the separation of the sleeve from the red and the blue fabric. I'll give you a couple examples of that. In the comics, it's just one little circular, kind of like a oval type shape, like that. That's the same thing for the, well, the homecoming suit, except there's a bit more red than there is blue. For the ultimate Spider-Man, you can see there's just blue, there's no red on the sleeve, and that might be easier for you. You can go, definitely go ahead and do that. So Amazing Spider-Man is basically just a thin line down the arm, and it kind of spirals around the uh, tricep right there. Anyway, that's what we're drawing right here, and you're also going to want to start with the patterns that you already have cut out, just to make sure that you get the accurate lines and it lines up correctly. Anyway, this is the sleeve pattern right there. White balance. <laughs> uh, this is the neck pattern we're going to be cutting out. Just want to show you what it is. Basically, the long top part is the measurement of how long your neck is, and since mine was about, I think, 15 to 16 inches, and... Uh, these two lines right here are how long your neck goes from like basically from under your chin down to the base of your neck That's those measurements right there. One's a straight line. One's a little bit of a curve That line is your neck down to your shoulder And this is basically just a curve from your shoulder You can basically just mess with that if you keep uh, in mind that it's supposed to fit in between the shoulder patterns of your shirt 